information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. Magnified biotics, eh? Great. What's our strategy? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. There's heat coming off that shot. Someone just used it. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Listen, there's a lot more than one. What was that? Stay sharp. I heard something. 
I, um, tripped. Sorry. This was the Commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nap point location of a bomb. It's inside the Great Hall. So the Commandos started the purge after all. Arda Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Arda Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate. Where's This place is enormous. There must have been thousands of people living here. I haven't seen any survivors. Me neither. And I bet most of them were civilians. The Reaper's done.
Mother! You came! As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Falaire, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother! Been... They have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Arda Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Arda Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaer. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaer? I'm sorry. Falaer! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Soldiers in a monastery. The Sari High Command couldn't take a chance with Ardak Yakshi. Something had to be done. Sending commandos with explosives is more damage control than a real plan, Lyra. There's the bomb. And Falaire. Rila, Rila, wake up! Falaire, Rila cannot hear us. 
Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? They've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer? The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all... Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? 
I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Messages at your private terminal, Commander. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander? The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I need to know if I'm picking up my commander in one piece or many. Sir. Three hundred years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. Hey. having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. Good to see you. Nothing to report, Commander.
Oh, hello, Commander. We were just uh, double checking the thermal ducts. I'm sure you were. Carry on. Do you think Shepard noticed? I'm sure he didn't. I'm so embarrassed. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reavers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Good to see you. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. It's a brilliant tactic when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered and more? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Ready for the next mission? Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Just reviewing some charts.
glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Listen, I thought of something. No, it can't wait until I... Welcome to Kanala Exports. Their statues have legendarily accurate profane inscriptions. Can we use... Kanala Exports is pleased to we offer goods for security and peace of mind. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Thank you. It's Come my again. Money. But just think, if those statues had something that can help us, even today... You shut it down, hide the money on it. Got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. 
Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do, good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities. But Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the Council Embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Saren. The Turian clerk called me Suit Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. And you're assisting him in spite of that? This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We're at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. The difference was you. Everything looks so peaceful. In here, you can almost forget about the war. I never get tired of looking at this place. I never thought they'd let a quarry in up here. The Presidium is so beautiful. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping and- Welcome to Cypertine Armory. Thank you Agor for shopping Munitions. at Cypertine Armory. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Good hunting. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry.
of the best in the business. Come to Casa. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Of course. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Urgently, human, I must speak to you on behalf of my people. What is it? Holding sorrow, Takuna, my home world, the Reapers have come. Holding sorrow, our warriors are under siege, but your forces can rescue them. Urgently, please, all the other races have turned us aside. How do your people fight? Proudly. With BI-assisted infantry, our soldiers carry heavy weapons into battle mounted on their backs. Mixed pride and shame, our enemies have called us living tanks, as well as names less flattering. I'll take the Normandy as soon as we have time. Relief. Thank you, Commander. Small hope. Perhaps we can evacuate some of our civilians when your forces arrive. Anxiously. I will remain here for news. Please hurry. Takuna burns. More trouble in the Perseus arm as Reaper forces now control the Hades Nexus and Sentry Omega Cluster. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Valer is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard... Be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves 
if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? An odd question, coming from the Spectre who killed his third Reaper on Rannoch. Will Flair be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaer will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaer saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. First time since the Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. I'm glad you came. I just need a few moments to myself. I just need a few moments to myself. those people you were with. Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Thank you for your patronage. Recognized. Please One moment, moment, please. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. How's the head? Good. Gosh, it's almost gone. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? Are the blood pack falling in line? With Grill in charge, where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. 
The Blood Pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. Is Darno Boss cooperating with you now? Getting General Araka off the Blue Sun's back did the trick. Voss still thinks he'll be getting me on mine, idiot. But he's committed his veteran soldiers to me. In turn, I commit them to you. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My control of Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Ugh. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. I miss afterlife. Yeah, this place is so clean and squeaks. Anyhow, thanks for the drink. But why'd you drag me out here? You, uh, still got that merchant. I'm curious, what material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you to pay D-24. Commander, Commander Shepard, I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our home back to the masters. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. 
I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which, dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, 